St. Patrick's Day, one of my favorite songs by John Mayer. Um, I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. I'm going to teach you guys these chords. Uh, these are the exact chords. Um, I have the uh, Room for Squares, John Mayer tab book. Ooh. <laughs> but these are the, the exact chords, no bullshit. Um, those of you who are advanced, you guys would be better off finding a tab. Uh, of this I've seen a lot of tabs on ultimate guitar um, and they're accurate so but for those of you who are beginners and you know intermediate uh, this is a this is the video for you because I'm gonna get very detailed I'm gonna take my time sh explaining these chords where to put your fingers and all that uh, so no worries there so let's get started actually let me give you guys an example a really abridged example I'm gonna fast forward through this song uh, before I teach so you guys can hear what you're about to play and so you guys won't think I'm lying so all right so and I can't sing Plays it again. And then blah blah blah, and then he goes, Who knows what? Chorus. No. Oh no, hold on. plays that whole thing again so all the way to chorus and this time it's longer because he adds January February and then you know St. Patrick's Day making your resolutions a hundred times Patrick's Day, and then uh, and then the you know the little bridge. Just wants to be just like you and me. <laughs> Christmas time, and then come January, we're broken inside, making, making you resolute. Hundred times, and baby, won't you be my Valentine? And then, and then I like this part. And if for always is all that we gave, and we someday take that away, I'll be alright. If it was just till St. Patrick's Day. And then on the live version, he says, Bye bye, baby. Bye bye, baby. Woo! 
All right, so step by step, uh, here we go. All right, so uh, I'm not I'm not even gonna bother telling you the names of these chords. I'm just gonna show you straight up. All right, so that's the first chord. That's the home chord. Let's call it the home chord. It's an E variant. Okay. It's some sort of E. Okay, so if you put your index finger right there, boom, sixth fret. Right, and then sixth fret on the oh. So I refer to the strings by their numbers. I don't say E string. So I say I do sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, first string. Okay, and um, make sure you guys are tuned. Okay, and then okay. So first, first finger, your next finger on the sixth fret, fourth string, right, and then middle finger. 2nd string, 7th fret, ring finger, 3rd string, 8th fret. Okay, so now with the index finger in particular, you kind of want to like, you kind of move it up just a little bit, ever so slightly so that like your nail or the tip of your finger is slightly, it's you know barely touching the 5th string to mute it because we don't want to hear it so because with the with the fifth string it, it, it's not the chord we want and it's a basic modern contemporary strum down down up down up 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 Repeat down down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down so you got And that's just the intro chord you just keep playing it until you start singing Yours here When he says comes <laughs> here comes when here so you keep that chord shape, and you're gonna slap your thumb on the eighth fret on top of the sixth string. The tip of that thumb will be uh, touching the fifth string, muting it, not pressing, not pressing on it, but just touching it. Okay. So again, here comes a chord. So and now this chord. Which is your index finger is on this on the seventh fret, second string. You move your thumb from the eighth fret to the ninth fret. Now we're on the ninth fret with the thumb. Same thing, you're muting the fifth string. Middle finger, ninth fret, fourth string, ring finger, ninth fret, third string. Now when he, he plays this live, on the studio version, he just plays this, right? But live, he'll sometimes go. He'll, he'll add his pinky on the second string of the ninth fret. So, like this, watch. That. Which is not present on the studio version, on the CD. So, so let's go again. So you have that option, so, which I think it sounds nice. Comes a cold. Take it off like that. So, and he says, "Break out your window." When he says "break," you move your your. So you move your fingers. Your next finger is on the second string still, but now it's on the fifth fret. You kind of just slide with your with that index finger. So, and then what you want to hear is this. So, your thumb now is on the sixth fret. Same thing on the top string. Your middle finger is on the 6th fret too on the 4th string. And then your ring finger is on the 7th fret, 3rd string. So. So you go from here. And then now you're only going to move the thumb and your ring finger down 1 fret each. So your thumb goes on the 5th fret and then your ring finger goes to the sixth fret where your middle finger is at. So, so it should, so it sound like this. Watch.
right there. So let's go again. And then you add your pinky on the seventh fret of the bottom string. So it should sound like this, watch. Pinky. Then keep that pinky there. Take off your middle and ring finger. Boom. Now bar with your index finger uh, the fourth, third, and second string on the fifth fret. So. That's, and so we're not using these two middle fingers. So middle and ring finger are not being used. So let's go again. And then two more chords. So from from the from this one, you take off your pinky, move the thumb and index finger, keep the index finger barred on those strings. Just move them down one fret, so now you're on the fourth fret. And then with your ring finger, uh, with, your, with your ring finger, put it on the second string on the fifth fret. And your thumb and index finger on the fourth fret. And we're not using the middle finger. So let's go again. So. That's the chord we just learned. Last chord is, you see where your ring finger is? Now, you, uh, f with, the, with the ring finger, you bar, um, you, know, you, you know, you're still on the second string. Now, you lay your entire, that tip of the finger down. So now, the ring finger is pressing on the second and first string. Actually, wait, let me make sure, okay? So, so let me hold on. Okay, yeah. So, that's what we want. So, from here, like I said, you bar the second and first string on the fifth fret with your, with your ring finger. This index finger is still there, okay? It's still barring those strings. Sorry, my phone keeps buzzing. So, fuck. Fucking pick. <laughs> All right, so, so your index finger is barring those strings still, and then you, now your ring finger is barring the second and first string. It's taking so long on this chord, sorry. And then you just move your, your, your thumb on the third fret, on, on the third fret on the top string. So, that's the last chord. We're not using the middle finger. So let's, all, let's play it all together, so. He plays that twice in the verse. That entire set of chords, twice, so, like this. Comes a cold Break out your winter clothes And find a love to call your own He sings it again. You enter your your cheeks are shade of pink, and the rest of you are powder blue. And then this part is only played once in the entire song. It's it's that part. Who knows what will be? Okay, so, so we got who knows. So, who? This chord right here. Your next finger is on the second fret, fourth string. Middle finger, second string, third fret. Ring finger, fourth fret, third string. And then 
your thumb is on the fourth fret on top of the on the top string. Remember, every time you put your thumb, you're always basically muting the fifth string with the tip with the tip of that thumb. So, and then the next chord is who knows. So, this chord, we've actually already played this chord. If you remember, now your thumb is on the fifth fret. And then the index finger is on the fifth fret too, on the second string. And then your 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 middle finger is on the sixth fret, fourth string. Your ring finger is also on the sixth fret, third string. Who knows? And just those. We're we're muting the fifth string and the bottom string. The bottom string is being muted by your by your index finger, like the lower part of your index finger. So, so. You can play it, you can strum it once. Who knows? Or you can strum it. Who knows? John Mayer does both. Who knows? Now we got what will be, what will be. This one's pretty easy. So your thumb is on the second fret, right, on top. And then your, your next finger and index and middle finger on the second fret. Index on the third string, middle finger on the second string. So, what, what will be, oh, hold on, who knows, so, and then this one, what will, and then you move your thumb to the third fret, keep those other fingers where they're at, and then take off your middle finger, take off your middle finger and make sure the, this open B string, the second string is being heard, make sure it's, make sure it's, make sure you can hear it, so, Again, who knows what will be, and keep it, keep that thumb where it's at on the third fret, and then again, but I'll make. He plays the whole thing again. You this guarantee. See now the chorus. The first time he plays the chorus, he just plays all the way until December. Because um, you know, he goes from November, December, January, February, and then he says St. Patrick's Day. So it's a short chorus this time around, the first time around at least. So. Let's throw that part. So. And um, remember the home chord? Um, it's the same exact like shape position, but now we're on the ninth fret. Your next finger is on the ninth fret, so it's on the fourth string on the ninth fret, and the middle finger is on the second string of the tenth fret, and then your ring finger is on the eleventh fret, third string. And just like the home chord, the, your nail on your index finger or the tip of your finger is slightly raised a little bit, just enough so that's touching. Um, the fifth string, so that it's muting it. So, so make sure your fingers are like curled like this. So you're gonna go from here, and then you move your middle, slide your middle finger down to the to the ninth fret. Keep your ring finger where it's at. So, so. So again, and then we got take off your middle finger, keep your index and ring finger where they're at, add your pinky on the 12th fret of the second string, and your thumb on the 11th fret. So, so it just sound like this. Watch. Take off your pinky, add your middle finger to where it was originally on the 10th fret, on the 2nd string, and then your thumb on the 10th fret too. So all together you have. Take off your, your pinky, your thumb. 
So again. Pinky. Take it off. Your middle finger on the 10th fret, 2nd string. And then your thumb on the 10th fret too. And then your thumb, move it to the 9th fret. And then move your middle finger to the 9th fret. And then move your ring finger to the 10th fret. So how many chords are those? So one, two, three, four, five. They're five chords. And then you have the option, like on the book, it says to do this. You can just keep strumming this last chord. Or or you can add this, like the book says. Um so. That is just so. Let me let's play it all. So that you just need your index and ring finger, your index on the ninth fret, which is already on there anyway. Uh, of the yeah on the fourth string, and then the ring finger on the eleventh fret, third string. And your th your thumb would be on the eleventh fret on the top string. So, and then move all the move that entire position. We're not using the middle finger. Move that entire position up two frets. So then your index would be on the eleventh. Thumb and ring finger would be on the thirteenth fret. So, but you don't have to do it. In fact, you don't you don't even need to use your thumb. Just hit those those two strings. Okay, so so you have that option. So let's play it again. And then you got and you got This one's pretty straightforward, so you're barring the ninth fret. From the fifth string down to the bottom string, ninth fret with your next finger, and then second second finger, your middle finger on the tenth fret, second string. Your ring finger on the fourth string, eleventh fret. And then take off your fingers and then just put your ring finger on the eleventh fret, still, but now it's on the fifth string. So you go from we're not, we're not using the middle finger anymore, so. And then you do the same thing over here on the seventh fret where you're, with your index finger. Do the same thing. And then you got an A second chord. So with your middle finger on the second fret, uh, the fourth string, and then your ring finger on the, on the third string second fret. Just those two fingers. And for, for this first time around, the chorus, that's where he stops. And then he goes back to the home chord. And then like he breaks. In the dark, and then another verse. On the phone. In the names of your brother. Favorite colors, I'm learning you. When it snows again, we'll take a walk outside and search the skies like children do. I say to you. And then chorus, he's going to play this chorus twice because he adds January and February. No way November will say our goodbye When it comes to December, it's obvious why No one wants to be alone at Christmas time And again 
January We're frozen inside Making new resolutions A hundred times February Won't you be my Valentine And we'll both He plays this again And we'll both be On the ninth fret, remember? And he plays it again And we'll both be Remember that? And we'll both be Your index finger's on the ninth fret Remember this chord? And then your ring finger by itself Right here And then you get And he does So And we'll both be Safe till St. Patrick's Day So so you got that, and then you got this chord is, remember remember this progression right here, this little one right here, so, because he's going to play this at the end, too, at the very end, so, your thumb is on the fifth fret, your middle, fi your middle finger is on the third string, sixth fret, and then your ring finger is on the seventh fret, fourth string, and the rest of the strings, except the except the fifth string because it's being muted, they're all open. And then keep these two fingers where they're at. Now move your thumb to the seventh fret, and then put your pinky on the fourth string. No, on the third string, on the eighth fret. So you move your thumb to the seventh fret, and then add your pinky to the eighth fret on the third string. So he goes. So hold on. Yeah, and then he goes back to home chord. And then now we're gonna be at the bridge. He keeps strumming this home chord. And we should take a while and night around the, you know. So. This bridge is houses, and then again, something in the way the blue lights on a black night can make you feel more. So that part's just three chords, and you play them twice. So, and this one, with this chord, the first chord, we've already played it during the verse. So the your thumbs on the fifth fret, your index finger is barring on the fifth fret. Strings number four, three, and two. Four, three, two, and then your pinkies on the seventh fret. And then your middle and ring finger are not being used. And then next chord is. So and then your pinky slides to the fifth fret. Put your your index your ring finger on the on the second string fifth fret and then middle finger fifth fret fifth string and then your index finger fourth fret fourth string and then you strum it. And then this last chord it's similar to this one we've already played, but we're on the third fret. So your thumb is on the third fret. Uh, index finger is on the third fret too, on the second string, and then middle finger, fourth fret, fourth string, and ring finger third. I mean third string, on the fourth fret. So. And then again. After the second time, use the same shape. You're just going to drop down one fret, and then you're going to drop down again one fret. So keeping the same, thing, the same finger position. See? And then after, now you got this. Just wants to be just like you. 
Now these are four chords, okay? So, so after this, okay, after this, keep that index finger where it is on the second string. Take off all the other fingers. Slide that index finger to the third fret on the second string. So you got, hold on, let's see. Okay, so, so your index, you just slide your index finger to the third fret, right? Put your middle finger immediately afterwards on the fourth fret, fourth string, and your pinky on the fifth fret, bottom string. Your, your ring finger is not being used, so. That's the first chord. All the other strings are like pretty much open. And then next chord would be. So from there you got, now you take off your pinky and middle finger, then put, leave your index finger where it is. Uh, let's see, so middle finger, fifth fret, fourth string, ring finger, sixth fret, third, third string, and then your, your thumb on the fifth fret. So you got, so you go from here to here. And then you got Okay. So you go Okay, and then take off all your fingers. Now your index finger is on the third string now, on the seventh fret. Your middle finger is on the second string, eighth fret. And then your, your, so hold on, let's see, let me make sure. Yeah, okay, so you got those two fingers down. Middle finger on the eighth fret, second string. Your thumb is on the eighth fret. Your ring finger is on the 10th fret of the 4th string. That's the, that's the third chord. Last chord is this one. So now your index finger is on the 2nd string again on the 8th fret. Your thumb is on the 10th fret. Your ring finger, I mean your middle finger is on the 10th fret 4th string. And your ring finger is on the 11th fret 3rd string. That's the last chord. So you go from here. To here. And then you got. And then chorus. That's where it goes. Come January, we're frozen inside Making new resolutions a hundred times February will should be a Valentine Now the very last part of the song And if I always Remember this? So ninth fret with your next finger, you know this chord. If I uh, and then and then ring finger by itself. So if I always uh, remember, I told you this to remember this is all that we gave and we again someday again take that away. I'll be alright if it was just to St. Patrick's Day home chord. And this, then this little run again. Again, home chord right here. And then the little run. Home chord. So let me teach you that in detail. So, if I always. Remember this? Your thumb's on the fifth fret, your middle finger, sixth fret, third string, your ring finger, seventh fret, fourth string. 
Move Thumb to 7th fret. Move, put Pinky on the 8th fret, 3rd string. And just that. So, and if our always is all that we gave, and we someday take that away, I'll be alright. If it was just till St. Patrick's Day. Then home chord. And then that little run again. Home chord right here. And then the little run. And that's it, folks. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of chords. Um, hope I taught you guys well. If not, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, uh, and uh, thank you. Any problems, like I said, comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys.